I'm staring at the camera and thinking one thing. I love collecting sneakers and I love onion rings. Conflicted with my thoughts, but one thing is for sure. I have a passion for food and sneakers so pure. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know I had to start off with a poem to get into my flow. So here we go. Welcome back to the show. It's Matt the Rebel in. Y'all, y'all already know we about to talk about some kicks and get a review. I'm trying to show some shoes, show some shoes to you. I'm about to talk about Black Friday and what I picked up. So kick back your feet. Video up. Let's get it. Family, what's good? Rebels, what's up? It's your boy CJ McGill back with another video. Family, before we even get into the video, before we even start talking about the Black Friday pickup that is crazy to me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys, at MattTheRebel. Make sure for Twitter, you just put an underscore at the end of the name. Also, family, if you haven't done so already, before we even continue with the video, make sure that you are subscribe to the channel all right you guys want to make sure you turn those post notifications make sure you comment like the video like all the other videos so you are caught up on what we are talking about on our channel as i always say guys this is our channel for rebels of all walks of life so family with that being said you've seen the description You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you already know what we're talking about, guys. I had to take it back. I was reminiscing today and I was just thinking about how crazy Black Friday was shopping wise for myself, okay? And guys, I, I literally walked into a retail steal. Now, that doesn't mean I stole anything. For those of you who are new to the sneaker world, a steal means you purchased a shoe or some type of premium good at a price that you cannot beat. And for me, I bought this at this sneaker at retail, okay? And guys, I have to share it with you. It's crazy, all right? So family, with that being said, we are doing a review today on the Nike Air Fear of God One Triple Black. Let's get into it. family now that we're back you already checked out the b-roll you've seen like i said you've seen the title you've seen the description you've seen the, the the thumbnail you guys already know we are talking about the nike air fear of god one triple black guys let me go ahead and be the first to say i didn't i would i never expected I, I expected to shop on black friday i expected to walk into some dope sales maybe get a few pieces of clothing maybe even you know get get a good discount on some some apparel that I've been having my eyes on, right? Never did I think I was going to walk into a store on Black Friday and just see these sitting at retail. At retail. Hear me again, retail. Now, I can't even remember the exact date when the, the triple Black Fear of Gods came out, but this shoe, guys, is truly special. I mean, as we already know, if you're not familiar with the Nike Air Fear of God 1, guys, this is the silhouette of world famous designer Jerry Lorenzo, all right? So Jerry Lorenzo has said multiple times that he's not much of a colors guy. He is more so a designer who focuses on the shape of something. So he was able to create with other designers, of course, helping him out, but he was able to create and gift to the world the Nike Air Fear of God one. Maybe a thumbnail, we'll see. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. All right, before we even get into the review, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I am a fan of this shoe now that I have had, now that I have one in person. All right, now that I've seen it in person. Now, again, I wasn't the first person to get to the front of the line, so I only I was able to get a size 10, not a 12, but it is what it is, guys. So if you need a size 10, 
you guys already know what's up. Hit that shop link that's in the description. All right, so, but anyways, guys, now that I have seen this shoe in person, I feel how sturdy it is. I feel how, how well done the shapes are. I see the silhouette in person. I'm gonna have to edit my grail list Am I going to do a grail list video? Who knows? I'm going to have to edit my grail list a little bit because there is a, a specific fear of God one that I definitely want in my collection now. Now that I've actually held this shoe in hand, I have to have one. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the review. Grail list coming soon. You guys will see what's up. All right, so Nike Air Fear of God one in its triple black colorway, guys. All right, so First things first, family. We already know, we start off with the toe box. All right, so you do have three, literally three shades of black on this shoe. The toe box is a really, really clean and premium suede, all right? So you guys do see that suede, you do see like those, that, that backstroke motion, whatever you wanna call it. That's when you have some really good suede right there, okay? So the shoe is truly A1, all right? Take it on around to the sides, guys, with the upper, the upper is encased and a really sturdy plastic material that is used to grip your foot. So whenever you are hooping or walking, this shoe, now, this shoe is designed for basketball, just so you guys know, okay? So when you're playing, guys, this shoe is designed to be really sturdy. It really holds up around the ankle. Um, the base, the bottom is actually pretty sturdy itself. So it is gonna give you that really cushiony feel when you're jumping on the floor, when you're running on the court or whatever the case may be, okay? And one thing I gotta point out guys is the design overall is just really dope. So you have definitely some really cool Fear of God um, branding all around the shoe. So you do have Fear of God right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can focus that in for you. Yep, so I fear, some Fear of God branding right here. Nike checks all over the place right here. Fear of God on the heel and Nike logo, almost like it's metallicized. Actually, it's just a little vibrant. It's not metallicized. It is engraved, but it's really dope. And Nike logo on the heel right there, guys. So, yeah, man, this is a really fire shoe. I love the fact that the back actually, you know, zips down so you can get that really custom feel around your ankle you know if you need to so really dope right there guys the bottom not your everyday bottom that you see it looks like the bottom is really well done it is designed to actually grip the court for when you're playing um guys overall fantastic shoe jerry really dope shoe brother can't can't say it enough all right lace locks are definitely different too guys you know start off right here go up on the sides and you have the laces to finish it off right there too so really well done shoe this is the pair right here all right so if you guys were looking for a size 10 in the triple blacks your boy cj hit me up i got you man shoot me a text my phone number is in the description like it is in every video shoot me a text all right so triple black smile all right anyways guys also, the box and the packaging is really cool too. Um, guys, I already know that people have done reviews on the Fear of God Triple Blacks before, but I'm so excited to do this one because like I said, I walked into it and got it at retail on Black Friday. That doesn't happen. So I'm gonna talk about it. Orange, big old giant orange box because this is a big old giant shoe, okay? So um, on the top, I'm not even sure you guys are gonna be able to see that. It does say Fear of God in really small letters. Um, you have Nike checks all around the side right here. You have them on this side as well. And you also have right here, it says Air Fear of God SN8329166, which is the product code. But yeah, guys, overall really dope shoe. You got the tag right here, size 10. So like I said, if you guys are looking for a size 10, hit your boy up. It does read Nike Air Fear of God 1, off noir, off noir. Yep, because it's black noir black all right anyways but yeah guys the packaging is really dope each sneaker comes individually wrapped in like this premium protective gloss um plastic paper i want to i'm gonna call it but anyways guys it's really dope every shoe because jerry really wants his shoes to be protected so um each shoe comes wrapped in these plastic coverings you also have some some lace locks right here that come in this bag and you also have, it looks like a bag to carry them in. So if you do want, it looks like a tote bag almost. Actually, this is a tote bag. Yeah, this is definitely a tote bag. So guys, yeah, 
Nike Air Fear of God tote bag, really, really fire. Comes in the box with the shoes. I remember when this shoe came out, guys, I remember a lot of people saying that there's no way they would spend $350 on a shoe like this, even though one, it kept selling out, and two, this price is truly justified, all right? When you're talking about, when you're talking about the shoe, when you're looking at the, the, you know, the sturdiness of it, the design elements, everything about it, the packaging, the additional lace locks, the tote bag, this is, you know, people spend so much money on shoes anyway. 350 for this is truly, truly worth it, guys. So, family, that is, oh, oh, and it also comes with an extra set of laces too. All right, so if you wanna swap it out, swap the black in for like this brown tan bone looking color, you can definitely do that as well. But yeah, family, that is mainly it, guys. In the comments below, family, make sure you tell me what you guys think of the Air Fear of God thumbnail. Oh yeah, that's it. Let me know which in the comments, guys, what you think about the Nike Air Fear of God ones in the triple black colorway. Is this a shoe that you would pick up? Do you think I got the best deal on Black Friday at retail? I need to know, guys. Light up the comments. Throw some likes on that bad boy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do all those things, guys, because we want to keep the channel growing, keep the content coming to you. All right. And family, with that being said, my name is CJ McGill. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MacTheRebel, guys. For Twitter, put an underscore at the end of the name, Rebels. You already know what's up, man. Got another review coming for you real soon. Because like I said, you never know what you may see on the channel. I don't even know what shoe I'm going to review next. It might be... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right, family. But anyways, this is your boy CJ McGill, guys. I'm checking out with another video. And I will see you in the next one. And we out. Peace.